I guess the draw to Enduro for me was that constant, fresh challenge that I've kind of needed my whole career. Me and Brownie sat down quite early on when Enduro was kind of emerging and just kind of spoke about we'd been there and done downhill and we'd kind of, as Atherton Racing, done four cross and put a hand in BMX. So, you know, Enduro was definitely the, the next kind of frontier, if you like, for, for Atherton Racing to like conquer. It's been like a really steep curve and it's just skyrocketed like crazy. You know, it's definitely not the, the easy kind of way out that it once was seen to be. Yeah, to suddenly be thrown into a world where you have to ride your bike for, you know, five or six hours a day was, took a hell of a lot of getting used to. So yeah, over the last few years, Atherton Racing have kind of been branching out to younger talent. Uh, took on Martin Mays a couple of years ago and it's refreshing man, like it's so cool to, to ride with him and to practice with him because I've been in the game so long and all I'm kind of searching for is that new like buzz. You know Martin's so so up for it and so fresh and everything's new to him and it kind of gives me like that perspective of, of a young rider again. Yeah I've always been watching um Atherton, all the videos I did before, and I went to their house. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a dream for me. Being with them is still something special, you know. You, you never get really used to them, and we all like, always have a really good time together. And they're now good friends. Yeah, I do try to, to mentor Martin a little bit, and I think he gets a lot, and he's like a sponge, you know. He listens and he learns, but... At the same time, he's been racing since he was like six or seven years old and his dad, Patrick, is a huge influence on him. So he's got the head of like quite an experienced athlete already, you know, so he learns a lot, but at the same time, he's, he's smart and he's grounded. I can definitely win, but, you know, I've got, I haven't got much experience, you know, I'm riding for, you know, so, such a, a short time compared to, you know, the Fabian Barrel and Jerome Clemens. I think I've got the speed, but I'm constantly making mistakes and you need to do like a perfect day to, to win. I think for me, the hardest thing with Enduro is being realistic with my goals. Um, you know, I know I can do well on stages, but at the same time, I know on some stages, I'm not gonna be anywhere near the guys, you know. If you think, right, I'm gonna win the stage and you push hard, it just doesn't happen, you know, you, it's so long and it's such a long day that you have to be realistic and you have to be consistent. Like that is the most important thing with Enduro is to be consistent. Yeah.